Hello, San Bernardino. Joining me in the studio today for part two of our segment on public transportation is Scott Johnson of Metrolink. Scott, can you provide the viewing audience just a little bit background of who you are and uh, what Metrolink does in our community? Certainly. Uh, Metrolink is the regional uh, passenger rail provider uh, for San Bernardino residents. Uh, it is the terminus for both the San Bernardino line and the Inland Empire Orange County line that connects uh, Los Angeles County, Orange County, all the way down as far south as Oceanside. Very good, and this is our term for train service. So whether you wanna go down to the Orange County area or the downtown Los Angeles or even Riverside utilizing our train service Metrolink, um, we have a very important community update for you today. So let's immediately get into the train service. What steps is Metrolink taking to ensure that trains are clean and safe for our community and our riders? Certainly, Mr. Mayor. So from the beginning of this month, Metrolink enhanced its cleaning uh, efforts each and every night, uh, each train goes through a deep, thorough cleaning effort, whether it be the, the tables, the doors, the windows, and certainly our, our restrooms. In addition to that now, all of our midday trains, as they reach Los Angeles Union Station or in Orange County, there's additional cleaning that's taking place, what we're referring to as our touch point cleaning. So anywhere where people typically touch, would, whether it be handrails, uh, handles of doors, tables, and certainly the restrooms are receiving an additional cleaning and disinfectant to make certain that our passengers are safe as possible. Very good. What about the ticket dispensers, buttons, and, and uh, all those points of access where maybe residents or um, riders are purchasing tickets? Um, what say you on, on cleanliness of, of that so apparatus? We have, so throughout our system, we actually have 65 stations uh, that people can board our service. Um, virtually all of those stations are maintained and managed by our either our transportation counties or the member the cities that they reside specifically. Uh, SBCTA, the San Bernardino County Transportation Authority, working with uh, the fine people of all the cities here in San Bernardino County, including two stations here in the city of San Bernardino, have also increased their cleaning of the stations toward the same goal of making certain that our riders and our customers are safe. Well, I think what's important to emphasize and underline is that the riders along Metrolink or Omnitrans, we have the safety capabilities in mind as we clean and wipe down those facilities, whether it's an SB Transit Center, which is located at downtown on the corner of Rialto and E Street, or our depot. Can you walk us through a little bit about the depot operations, parking, safety, and uh, as riders continue to balance the governor's order of um, stay at home, and yet many of our Metrolink riders have to commute for a job employment opportunity. So balance the governor's order to stay at home, yet while we try to conduct our business and uh, talk a little bit about the depot. So essentially what we've been able to do is work in collaboration with the health professionals, with the CDC, the local county health officials as well. But certainly once the governor put out the order of stay at home, we recognized that there were certainly a large number of individuals that still needed, whether it be the Omnitrans, the Foothill Transit, or the Metro, or down in OCTA in Orange County, that still needed to use public transportation to get the places where they absolutely needed to go. Whether that be for the first responders, the firefighters, the police officers, those individuals who worked in the medical facilities, those people who worked in different industries that were able to continue to operate, Metrolink and our transportation partners are critical avenues, which is why both at a national and a state level, public transportation was identified as a, an essential good that needed to continue to operate. What we have seen in, in, that, in that effort is that our ridership has certainly decreased as people responsibly recognize the need to stay at home, work from home when possible, but when they needed it, we were there. So typically on a given day, we operate between 42 to 43,000 passengers. Since then, we've seen it drop to around seven to eight. So that's about a 70 to 80% decrease. And as we've done that, we've identified other ways where people can responsibly perform social distancing while, while continuing to get to and from as safe as sound. Well, it sounds like um, health is a primary driver here. And I wanna encourage residents to practice good hygiene. These are critical moments in which we can unite together, um, staying at home, only coming out when necessary for those essential needs um, and doing all of those um, opportunities for uh, social distancing as well as teleconferencing for your work um, 
uh, habits and, and work schedules. Now finally, um, tell us a little bit about Metrolink, the time schedules, are trains running on time? What, what say you on uh, Metrolink's uh, time schedules? And is it normal? Um, walk us through any of those updates. So Metrolink has been able to continue its normal operations uh, since this really launched uh, in the beginning of March. However, this week, beginning on Thursday, we will be scaling back our service. 70% uh, of our trains will, will continue to operate, largely in the peak hours of the morning and afternoon commutes, where we're scaling back is some of the midday trains where we have seen the ridership uh, essentially disappear. So for San Bernardino residents, the Inland Empire Orange County line will actually see no difference for trains that, that connect directly to either one of the San Bernardino stations. The San Bernardino line uh, will have a decrease of eight trains as a part of this temporary reductive service. But the thing that we wanted to make certain was that the key service areas in both the morning and then the afternoon will maintain their integrity and that level of service will be communicated largely through our website at metrolinktrains.com backslash coronavirus. Very similar to what Aaron had said in terms of the texting feature to 333-777 to receive that automatic link. Simply text MV19 for the latest on Metrolink service and updates. Thank you very much, Scott, for joining me today in the studio. I want to thank Aaron Rogers from Omnitrans. Uh, Scott, you're a great partner, and we thank you for your collaborative um, spirit and joining me here in the studio. Uh, that's all for now, uh, community. We thank you for joining us on this uh, brief uh, update on coronavirus and our response as it relates to public transportation. Stay safe and be safe. Thank you.